So hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. There's not going to be any big adventures this weekend. No big hikes. I'm sticking in Queenstown. For about five minutes drive from my house. Still an absolutely wonderful, stunning location. Just down at the lakeside here at Lake Wapatipu. Uh, literally about ten minutes drive just outside of Queenstown. <coughs> um, and this is one of my favourite spots around here. Uh, so it happens. And just going to come down here for the sunset tonight. So guys, I'm set up here for a nice, simple image. Uh, I'm shooting an F14. Um, as you can see, I've got my remote shutter on and looking around about 10 to 15 seconds, just depending on how much the light changes. Um, ISO is on 100. And like I said, very, very simple. So my composition, I've got these two rocks here and they're going to be in the bottom left of my composition and great little foreground subject I'm just going to try and capture the movement of the water as it hits the rock and kind of swirls around it's lovely So I wanted to talk a little bit just briefly about um, my preparation for this sort of um, shoot which is quite easy it's just for the sunset I'm only going to be here around about an hour or so um, I would use a I've got an app called flow X I think that's what it's called and it's pretty cool it's just like a kind of radar of your location and it shows basic cloud cover there's no sort of different altitude or anything like that but you know, if you just want to get a grasp of whether or not the sun um, has got sort of free space to shine through and, you know, perhaps <clears throat> uh, at sunset, for example, it can light up the clouds on the east side of your location, um, then yeah, it's really, really good for that sort of thing. So Flow X, uh, really good for sunset and sunrise preparation. Um, and there's also a website called windy.com, I think, which is... Um, there's a little bit more going on. The app's quite basic. It's good for me when you know when you're out and about. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend the both of them. Um, I'm going to quickly set up now because the light is looking fantastic and it's leaving. So let's go. So guys, I'm just putting my six stop in here. I've got my composition set up, and I don't really want to go into too much detail about the composition because it's really similar to the last one I've just done. And I'm just going to get a bit of a move on to try and catch the light on the tops of this mountain. I'm going to shoot an F14 again, and ISO 100. And it's a little bit darker than my first image now. Uh, obviously, the sun has set a little bit more, so I'm waiting for this exposure. I'll just look around, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Even these lower clouds have caught a little bit of the light over on the Remarkables, and it's just phenomenal. I, can't, I feel so lucky to be able to be here. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Especially considering this is only two minutes drive from my house. So lucky. Yeah, so that one at 40 seconds um, was much better. And the lake looks wonderful with my polarizer. It's actually catching a lot of the reflection. And the lake looks almost silver. And you're catching a little bit, uh, a little bit of a faded reflection of Cecil Peak. Um, and like I said earlier, no interest in the sky. But regardless... Beautiful image, I think. So I'm actually going to take one more image. I was going to come out and just take the one, to be honest, guys. Uh, the one of Cecil Peak that you've just seen. Um, that was the one that I had in mind, but we're getting some beautiful light back on the Remarkables, actually. Um, so I've switched back, switched my composition back over to them and like I mentioned before we haven't got too much interest in the sky 
but this light is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm sitting off probably a 30, maybe 40 second exposure using the Lakeshore as a leading line. It's leading us into that mountain range and into them beautiful colors. So I think that's gonna be a lovely little final image. So pretty short vlog this weekend guys. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. If anybody's watching and you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe if you like this content. Uh, there's plenty more to come. Um, really glad I could share this place with you actually. It's one of my favorite spots in the sort of immediate Queenstown area, especially for sunset shots. So yeah, like I said, cheers for watching. I'll see you next week.